Hi there, Colleen here from Ultimate Backyard, and today we're going to dive into the world of grevilleas, one of my absolute favourite Australian native plants. And make sure you stick around till the end, because I've saved a couple of my favourite varieties until then, one that makes an excellent ground cover and another that's perfect for screening. Now let's get started. First up we have Grevillea australis. This species is the only one that grows naturally in Tasmania and can also be found in parts of Victoria and New South Wales. It's quite versatile and can reach a height of 2.5 metres. The plant produces lovely white flowers in clusters along the stems and is particularly suited to colder climates. Next we have Grevillea bipinatifida. This grevillea has unusual holly-shaped leaves and gorgeous dark red flowers. It can reach a height of one metre. Now let's talk about grevillea chrythmifolia. This species has a dense growth habit and can form a nice low mound. It has tiny white flowers that will cover the plant in spring and winter, making it perfect for growing as a ground cover. Next up is grevillea elegance. This cultivar is perfect if you want to make a bold statement in your garden. It grows into a large shrub that can reach a height and width of around 3 metres, and the unique spidery flowers grow in vibrant shades of pink. Moving on to Grevillea excelsior. This species will actually grow into a small tree with a height of 6 metres and a spread of 3 metres. The large toothbrush flowers are orange in colour and can reach a length of 20 centimetres. It's native to Western Australia and prefers sandy soil. Next, we have the Grevillea honey gem. This is an older cultivar, but is still really popular with Australian gardeners. It has dark green, heavily divided foliage and stunning deep yellow to orange flowers. This fast grower can reach a height of four meters with a spread of three meters. Now let's discuss Grevillea intricata. This Grevillea species has very pretty white flowers and is a small spreading shrub. It will grow to a height of 2 metres but will spread to a width of around 4 metres. Next we have Grevillea juniperina. This popular species of Grevillea is ideal for screening as it has prickly foliage. It provides a great shelter for small birds and the lovely spider flowers range in colour from yellow to pink and red. These appear over winter and spring. This species of Grevillea can also be grown as a hedge because it responds really well to regular pruning. Before we move on, I have one big favour to ask of you. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below. Hitting the like and subscribe buttons lets us know that you're enjoying the content we're creating. It also helps us keep growing the channel and allows us to produce more content like this. OK, let's get back to the video. Next is Grevillea Peaches and Cream. You'll love the multicoloured flowers on this cultivar in shades of pastel pink and yellow. This medium-sized shrub grows to a height of 2 metres and the leaves will display a tinge of bronze in winter. Moving on to Grevillea Semper Florence. This species has lovely, graceful weeping branches and pretty apricot spider flowers. The plant can reach a height of 2 metres and is ideal for planting along a border or even growing as a hedge. Now let's talk about Grevillea Porinda Royal Mantle. This is one of my all-time favourite Australian native ground covers. It has large toothed leaves that are dark green but coppery red on new growth. This cultivar will spread quickly to reach an area of up to 6 metres, perfect for stabilising banks or just growing as a ground cover over a large area. To top it off, this cultivar has bright red flowers in winter and late spring. Finally, we've reached the last Grevillea on our list, Grevillea Superb. This cultivar is perfect for screening as it has prickly foliage, which is ideal for deterring unwanted visitors to certain parts of your garden. This cultivar grows quickly into a nice shrub and the large flowers are quite stunning in varying colours of pink and orange. And there you have it. Remember these beautiful plants are not only easy to care for, but also attract birds and pollinators like bees to your garden. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the world of Grevilleas and maybe you found the perfect one for your garden. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below and let us know which Grevillea variety is your favourite or if you have any questions. 